six things we don't want to happen in 2021. If I asked you to describe 2020, like describe the year 2020, what word would you use? Like, I'm because I'm, I'm willing to bet that a lot of people will not use positive words like we normally use, you know. Those were the people say, Ah, it was this year, it was that, it was a beautiful year. I'm not saying all this did not happen, but 2020 was tough, like, very, very tough. A lot of things happened that I personally would not want to see happen in 2021. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that we do not even see a repeat of these things in the new year. I also ask people to share their own list of what they do not want a repeat of, what they do not want to happen in 2021, and these are some of them. Number one, no repeat of COVID. When people say 2020 was a tough year, it is most times it's mainly due to how COVID-19 ravaged the world and how it ravaged almost every country. Like almost every country had at least a case of the virus. Now more than 1.7 million people have died and there are more than 81 million cases and counting worldwide of COVID-19. Everything was turned upside down as a result of this virus until now, many are still trying to get their feet, you know. It's only normal that people want COVID to go with 2020, even though the reality of that happening is quite slim. Number two, delay in the sharing of the vaccine. Uh, as COVID-19 cases increased worldwide, there were also efforts to come up with the vaccine that would effectively end the spread of the virus. Thankfully, a few companies took the bull by the horn and they've come up with vaccines that work according to several reputable medical organizations. The problem now is making sure that this vaccine gets to all the countries in time. As it stands, only a few rich countries have gotten the vaccine and are sharing to their citizens. Poorer nations have to wait before they can get their hands on it. Hopefully in 2021, a system that ensures every country gets the vaccine on time is put in place. Number three, no more budget cuts or salary slashes. One major fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic was the fact that many companies had to tighten their belts to survive financially as the world economy came to a ground to a halt, like almost nothing was, was moving. Uh, but in Nigeria, budget cuts became the norm and many had their salaries slashed in half, forcing them to do to make do with less money while the prices of goods and services continue to increase. Like, you yeah, okay, they reduce your salary, but instead of the, you, you would expect that or you hope that the goods, prices of goods and services would, would reduce, but um, uh, nothing like that happened. So, like I said, we had to make do with less money. Number four, no more increase in the prices of food items. Uh, remember I said many companies slashed their salaries as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, the prices of almost all goods or services and services did not reduce at all. In fact, they continue to increase and are still increasing, especially food items. How much, how much is tomato or tin tomato or sachet tomato in your area? Uh, in, in Nigeria's case, this is, uh, I think the increase is just as it's as a result of certain unfortunate decisions taken by those in charge. But still, we hope that the government takes more concrete steps in addressing this particular problem. Number five, no more hassle strike. I find it hard to believe that Nigerian students sat at home without going to school or anything. They also just sat at home for almost one year due to the, as the academic staff union of universities as going on strike. Although there was lockdown, but still, students even during the period of the lockdown, the strike had started and students had, didn't even know what was going on, they didn't even know what to do. But thankfully, the 10-month strike has been called off. And now, and we, we, I just hope that, or we hope that a repeat of this does happen in the new year. People that are supposed to graduate last year, they are still in school. You understand? Know, because of these strikes, so hopefully things move forward in the new year. Number six, no more police brutality. In 2021, I I really, really hope the Nigerian police force learns its lesson and trains its officers in how to deal with certain situations. Police brutality led to NSAS protests, the NSAS protest that took place in 2020. It also showed that Nigerian youth can come together and make their voices heard regarding issues that concern them. I, I, I really hope the government pays attention to this or the government realizes this because but my people don't wake up, but this is the Sorosuke generation. We wouldn't want a situation where you to take to the streets or people take to the streets again to protest against the many problems that is facing this country. Uh, guys, so which other things don't you want to see in 2021? I'm, I just covered a couple of them, but I know there are a lot of things you don't want to see happen in the new year. So let us know. Just go to our comment section, drop your thoughts, and let us know your own thoughts or whatever, whatever idea you, whatever thing you don't want to see in the new year. Let us know in the comment section.
bye guys